Carol White Mountain TV 16. Joining me in the studio is Deb Shane from Jackson Cross Country. How are you today, Deb? I'm great, thank you. Good, Good to have you. Good to have you here. Thank and uh, exciting things happening at, at Jackson Cross Country. Now, of course, you're not quite open yet. No. But uh, no. You, we, you notice how we put that there. You're not quite open yet. Yeah. But uh, we know that's going to happen pretty quick here. And it's going to happen even quicker because you guys have done so much this summer to get ready to open. Let's talk about that. I just read a great thing in the paper yeah. uh, about your cap capital campaign and all the things you did with that. Yeah. Um, Jackson Ski Touring a few years back launched a capital campaign um, to raise six hundred thousand dollars and with the support of the donors of Jackson Ski Touring um, we reached that goal and um, we were able to develop um, several new trails um, another four miles of trails um, creating loops within loops um, new bridges um, we did two replacement bridges and eight um, new bridges on the property. Wow. So yeah, it's been really busy. Wow. It's when you really see busy. you're creating four new trails, I mean, how exciting is that? Because you know people love the trails at Jackson Ski Touring, but now you've added four new ones. Yeah, yeah, it's very exciting. Um, and one of the, one of the most exciting things about those new trails are um, they were named after some great people that were very dedicated to Jackson Ski Touring. Um, we have um, the Hall Trail, Gordon Hall, 86 years old. Um, he can't wait to get out there and ski that trail, you know, in his name. Um, we have off Rocky Branch, the Kellogg Trail, Charlie Kellogg, um, who passed away last year. Mm -hmm. um, he was an Olympian athlete. Um, he was on the board of directors for Jackson Ski Touring, so we named that section of trail nice. after Charlie. Um, and then we have John Keeney. Um, that is the longest trail that we put in this year, about two and a half miles. That's a long um, trail. It is, it is. It connects the Ellis River to um, the Hall Trail. It's going to be a nice crossover um, for those that don't want to do the giant loop. Yep. Now they can cut across. So it's a loop within a loop. Nice. Um, John Keeney was the founding father of Jackson Ski Touring way back in 1972. Wow. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. That's great. And, yeah. you know, we, we were talking, too, that, you know, what is, uh, what is, what do you do at a cross-country ski air during the summer? Well, there's a lot, and this is just some great examples. Trail yeah. maintenance and, and uh, getting the trails groomed. And you think, oh, well, you're just putting snow. And it just, no, you've no. got to have those trails ready so that when you get some snow on the ground, yeah. off you can go. Yeah, we have an amazing um, trail crew. They start around the 1st of October, and they get out there, and they, you know, brush back all the trails, cut the grass, trim the branches, pick up blowdowns. Um, I had the opportunity... Um, to spend the day with them one morning. Um, we got up real early, um, met at Wildcat, took the lift up, and came down the backside. So that was really exciting wow. for me. Yeah. I was the gas girl. I got <laughs> the gas for them. Um, it was a great day to be out there and to actually see all aspects of Jackson Ski Touring. I mean, it's so many important people play important roles, yeah. you know? So, yeah, it was great. Well, it's funny you mentioned that about cutting down the grass. I mean, last winter was a great example of uh, not getting a lot of snow oh, but uh, I remember hearing about Jackson Ski Touring and you know you had trimmed the trails down or the grass down because <clears throat> you know I know I go in my backyard and there's grass that's growing up and so you got to have so much grass before you can even kind of step down but no right. you got that all groomed out so so you can ski on not that you want to ski all winter on a couple inches of snow but you can do it yeah yeah it's kind of funny yesterday um after this little bit of a tease snow that we got, um, Andy went out in the Eagle Fields and groomed a 1K loop for us. Oh, really? So it was pretty cool, you know, that um, I, it just shows the excitement. Um, after last season, people were pretty disappointed um, with winter. Right. So I, I think, you know, people are generally getting excited. Everybody wants a great ski season this year, and <clears throat> hopefully we'll be able to have that season. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So what is uh, total kilometers at Jackson Cross Country? Oh boy. 150 something. Yeah, I can't remember exactly what. And I know that's always one of those semi vague answers because yeah. like you say they just and you add on and, and you have these nice little connector trails mm -hmm. and but that's a that's a lot of skiing. It is. Let's just say let's just say it's 150 plus. That is an incredible amount of skiing. It is the largest in the Northeast, yeah. so it's 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 quite large. Um, you know, and, and the best thing about having so much is that you can have different trails for everyone. You know, you want to get those those families. You know, the the all famous Ellis River Trail out right. to our Cocoa Cabin. You can grab your kids and 
take a, you know, I think it's about a three mile trip, a mile and a half out, a mile and a half back. Nice. Um, stop at the Coco Cabin, have some great, um, all the products in there are locally um, made products. Um, you can sit out by the fire pit. Um, last year, the s'mores were really popular. You know, little s'more packages you buy and yep. sit by the fire, relax, and, um, you know, have a great day with your family. And then for those extreme skiers, we do have the backside of Wildcat. Um, we have, um, boy, the, uh, the vertical drop in Nordic skiing is amazing. Yep. Most people think Nordic it's skiing is flat, flat, you yep, know, yep. you're just going to go. But the, um, you can just have an exhilarating ride down the backside. That is a backcountry ungroomed trail. Yep. Um, but, you know, that's quite popular for oh, ab people. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm more the, you know, the, the flat. Yeah. But, and I've talked to people over the years who, who talk about how exciting cross-country skiing is. Because I think, you know, that's probably something you deal with. People like, oh, it's just you're just pedaling. No, it's exciting. No. Um, whether it's a, a little bit of a dip or you got the, uh, the whoop-de-doos yeah. or going down the backside of Wildcat, it's extreme. that's extreme. That's it's exciting sure stuff. Yeah. It's not just um, zipping along, you right. know, it's yeah. getting out there. There's so many spots. Um, my favorite place to ski is up at the top of Cardinach uh, Road on the Prospect Farm ski trails, yeah. um, UST, you come around that corner and kabam, Mount Washington is right there. It's spectacular, you know, and um, that's a, you know, a advanced beginner um, trail, yeah. um, but it's just, to be able to go out there and just relax, you know, and it's peaceful, you know, it's, and it's, as everyone knows, it's the best um, exercise. Oh, absolutely. Do, you know, it, it moves every part of your body. And um, you can, in real cold days, you're moving, so you're not feeling that, you know, frigid coldness. You right, know? you're not sitting on a, on a lift or staying in a lift line right. or anything like that. You're right. out and you're going. And that's one of the great things, too. You can, there's so many places where you can just kind of you get out of your car. Well, you know, Jackson Ski Touring, like you say, up to Carnot, And then you're just going. You, you know, you go. strap the skis on and away you go. Mm -hmm. It's quite an adventure. Um, people love it, you know, in that we... Um, I don't know. You, you say, you know, like some people say, it's so boring, um, but it's not. No, it's, not it's at so all. It's so exciting, yeah. you know. Um, you can just have a great day. And, you know, it's very affordable for families. Um, you can take mom, dad, and a couple of kids and spend little money and have a great day out in the snow with your family. Yeah, I was so. just, I was looking at the, the rates just earlier, and it, it is. It's amazing. It's an affordable sure. adventure. Yeah. We'll call it an affordable adventure where you can go out uh, and enjoy it. Now you've got a lot of regular things that go on there. You got your Tuesday trekkers. You have your uh, monthly snowshoe tours yeah. and, and everything else. So let's talk a little bit about that because it's not just about cross country skiing. You have the snowshoe tours. You have other events that happen up yeah, there. Yeah, we in have Jackson. some big events coming up this year. Um, last week we hosted our first um, monthly program series where Swix came in and they demonstrated how to wax your skis and get them ready for the season. Um, Trish Murray will be joining us next month. Um, talking about shoulders and shoulder injuries and how to prevent them. <clears throat> She's been very good. Um, last year she filled the room, you know, so great. Um, there's some great, um, let's see, in January um, we're hoping to have the New England Ski Museum come and do a presentation. Oh, terrific. Um, February, the um, Squam Lake Science Center is going to be with us bringing um, three live owls, owls of New Hampshire, and they're going to do a presentation yeah. for us. So that's pretty cool. Um, we have Tuesday Trekkers starting up, first Tuesday in January. Um, we changed that up a bit this year, brought it into the morning, um, where you'll go out and do a couple of, you know, two hour trek um, with Peter Minich and his gang, and um, come back for some fireside um, snacks and um, coffee and maybe a glass of wine. Uh, you know, it's a great little nice. social group for people that don't want to ski. They can, you know, come out and, you know, travel around on their snowshoes and, um, that's pretty exciting. Um, we have Friday Gliders starting the first Friday in January. Um, that's a great program. Um, we have two sections to that. We have the gliders for the more advanced skiers, and then we have the sliders. So they can come out and, you know, do a, um, get out there and do a ski, but not so extreme. Yep. You know, they'll have a, a nice, um, 
nice ski and then they come back and they have a social hour where it's a great place to meet new people if you're new to the valley you know join in on one of these groups and meet new people and have people to ski with that's you know? great and yeah it's awesome and then of course the big events we have the um unh winter carnival in january um we have our 14th white mountain classic in january and then the first week in march we are the host venue for um the NCAA Nordic Championships. That's great. Yeah, that's really What exciting. fun that's going to be. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so people can find out more. They can go to the website, which they is, can. of course. They can go to jacksonxc.org or give us a call at 383-9355, um, and we'll be happy to you know, update you on those events. That's great. And you've got such a great little, uh, I don't know if it's technically called the base lodge. The, uh, the, uh, it's our base lodge. The base lodge. Yeah. The, the home office right yeah. there in Jackson. Such a great spot. It is. Uh, plenty of opportunities to, you know, if you need more equipment or get some wax or whatever it might be, or just kind of relax before you head out or when you come back in. Yeah. And you can also visit um, Gorham Bike and Ski, which is located right inside our lodge um, for new ski equipment. It's a Fisher Concept store. Um, great equipment in there. Um, I purchased my first pair of brand new uh, Nordic skis at the end of the season last year. So I'm pretty excited to get out there and use those. I can imagine. So I yeah, can imagine. just bring on that snow. That's right. Well, Deb, thanks so much for coming by. Oh, you're very and, welcome. And uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll chat some more during this winter, find out what's going on. We're going to cross our fingers for as much snow as we can possibly get right. out there on the trails. We're going to get that 150 plus acres uh, up and going. I sure hope so. I sure hope so. All right, great. Deb, thanks again. You're and we'll welcome. be back here in a minute on White Mountains Today.